Hey, hey everybody a lot of people are dealing with a spirit of offense they feel that they have been offended or maybe they were the one that went and offended somebody and they don't see anything wrong with it and an offense is where there was an injury or some kind of wrong done in between two parties or you know however many people are involved and so there's a lot of feelings involved there's a person you know maybe feeling mad they're angry they're upset they're frustrated they are livid to the core and some people they're holding grudges they won't let this go they're like unless this person comes you know and forgives and you know comes to seek my forgiveness you know for what they did to me then you know I'm not letting this go some people are like I will die and take this to the grave I am not going to forgive them I've heard so many different stories you guys and a lot of people have died and they have not let this go I would highly encourage you and implore you the Holy Spirit is revealing to me in this season even I wasn't even going to come on here with this the Lord gave me a confirmation about it like immediately and was like hey share this and so I'm sharing it go out and seek forgiveness from others. There's a seasons of transition and change that are coming. A lot of people are moving from, you know, where they are now to something new, something better, something greater. God has plans for you, but a lot of that will not be realized. It will be deterred, so to speak, put on hold until you are able to deal with this situation of uh, the spirit of offense being able to go seek forgiveness from others, make peace, even if you were the one that were wronged and say, hey, you know what? There was this situation, I felt this way about it, but guess what? I want, I want there to be peace amongst us. And that other person may have moved on with their life, they may not be the wiser, but do what you can to make peace amongst them. Or maybe they didn't know how to come and talk to you, it may be awkward, a whole situation, who knows what happened? make peace with them. In some situations, you may not be able to go and seek the person. Maybe they're dead or maybe they're incarcerated or whatever it may be. Maybe write a letter then and you may, you know, may burn it or bury it or, you know, give, just give it to the Lord thereafter. Say, Lord, I'm giving this over to you. You know, may your will be done with this. And, you know, maybe situations like that, but forgive, forgive, forgive. The Bible talks about forgiveness and that we need to do more forgiving instead of holding unto grudges, instead of being mad and angry and upset. These are things that the enemy likes and he gets all, you know, things all riled up and makes that situation for us to just be there stuck and holding on to things and oftentimes people are just stuck in these situations but we need to unloose ourselves in the name of Jesus and we need to go out and forgive be easy to forgive be let it flow freely just to forgive let it be like water off your back and I know certain situations are harder than others but again ask the Lord God to help you to help you heal to help you push and move through this particular season in your life but you need to find forgiveness and to forgive forgive others and even some of us need to forgive ourselves about whatever the situation may be again talk to the holy spirit see what he has to say ask him to help you to lead you and guide you of what steps you need to make and know that if you are able to forgive your brother the holy spirit in heaven above can forgive you also if we get stuck in the fact that we're not able to forgive our brothers and sisters here on earth how is it then we expect the lord god to forgive us of our sins so something for you to think about Go seek the Lord God, ask the Holy Spirit, help, what do I do? And he will definitely lead you and guide you. I love you, God bless you. I look forward to seeing you next time, all right? Take care, ciao.